views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Okay, everybody, welcome to our good news segment. And I'm so, you know, I love these good news segments. I'm so excited since we started them. Because first of all, one of the things all of you said in the survey was you wanted to be educated and informed. And we're so thrilled we're able to bring this information to you. But this one in particular is unlocking, unlocking the secrets to the famous FICO score. Now, what do I mean by that? You're probably thinking FICO. What is that? I think I know what she's talking about. Yeah. Better known as F-I-C-O, all caps. Today joining me uh, is Ethan Dornell, vice president, what? FICO scores and predictive analytics. And by the way, leads the research and the development of FICO scores globally. Now, here's what I want to say. My education with FICO scores happened in a way you guys don't want it to happen. You're sitting down, you're getting ready to buy that great car, this run a credit report, you run a credit report, and the next thing you know, somebody says, hey, did you know your score was? And if you're like me, not only you didn't you know, but you didn't understand what you could know. Today, we are busting the crust on this you need to know about this. So do your children and your grandchildren. Ethan, it's great to have you here. Thank you so much for having me on. Yeah. So I don't think I'm alone. And that's a true story. Sat down to buy my car and thinking I'm OK because I'm doing everything I think I need to do. And then all of a sudden the dealer runs a report. I now know that what the dealer was showing me wasn't my FICO score. But today let's talk about what it is, why it's important and why you were doing like a thousand interviews to get the word out. Welcome. Again, I'm so so happy to be here. Happy to talk about FICO scores anytime. All right, here. Here's the deal. Once upon a time, we all thought that maybe once a year you can find out the score. Tell us why it's helping consumers gain access, why you're doing that, and what your organization is about. Because we don't want to have to guess anymore. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I mean, I completely agree. Number one most important thing for consumers with respect to their FICO score is to know what their FICO score is. And that's what yes. the FICO score open access program is all about. Um, so what this program does is it enables financial institutions to provide their customers with free access to their actual FICO score that those lenders are using to make their lending decisions. And that's going to improve the transparency between the lender and the customer. And even more importantly, it's going to empower those customers. It's going to empower those individuals to take charge of their financial health and know where they stand so that when they walk into that auto dealership, they can say, no, I'm a 750 FICO and I know what terms I deserve because of that. Oh, I love those words you just said, Ethan. I love them. Um, Before we get too far along, I want to mention throughout this short interview how people can find out about this. So let's talk about the website where people can go to FICO score open access, please. Great question. There's actually not a single website. And this is an important point. The way open access works is the financial institutions that you have a bank account or a consumer account, like a credit card or a loan with. If they're a participating member of open access, then you can actually access your score and score factors explaining why you're scoring the way you are by simply logging in online to that bank's consumer portal. So where you go today to check your balances or check your statements, if you log in and the, uh, the, the, the bank is a participating open access provider, you'll see a button on that homepage likely that says get your FICO score here and you can get it every month 
free of charge. And, you know, this is something that I would encourage people. If you go to your bank and your bank is not a participant, I would say walk in your bank and say, hey, why aren't you a participant? But let's talk about this. Today's world, it is more important than it ever has been to know this. Why and how can consumers get a free, uh, keyword free, FICO credit score? (laughs) Well, the reason it's so important is because the FICO score is the industry standard Mm -hmm. when it comes to credit scoring. And it's used in 90% of all lending decisions made here in the U.S. It's an important part of that lending process. If you've got a high score, you're more likely to just sail through the approval process and get the most favorable terms possible. And as we said, the the way that consumers can get their free score monthly now, as well as a little insight into why they're scoring as they are, ways they can improve their score if it's lower than they'd like, is simply by going to the website of participating financial providers. And we've got hundreds of participating financial providers, including Citibank, Discover, Wells Fargo. Many of the biggest banks are part of this. So we Mm -hmm. recently hit a milestone Over 250 million consumer accounts are now eligible for the FICO score open access program. Yeah. I mean, you know, in today's world, I mean, it is the kind of thing that I'm watching young people, older people, senior people, all ages, but especially young folks that are so aware about what this is and then finding out what to do about it. You know, this is really important for us to understand why it is we're scoring what we're scoring. But isn't it even really more, I want to say, exciting to know that you can change this? It used to be like, oh, this is what you have and there you go. But now we can figure out how to make things change. That's that's correct. And like I said, we provide these score factors as part of the open access program that points the a customer's attention exactly to the areas where they could stand to benefit the most from the Mm -hmm. FICO score if they change their behavior. So 35% of the FICO score calculation is around your payment history. So if you've got recent missed payments, the advice is going to be, of course, get get caught back up, make sure you're paying your bills as agreed, Mm -hmm. because the more you can push those missed payments into your rearview mirror, the more your FICO score will lift up or amounts owed, you know, how much debt you have on your credit cards. Uh, the, generally speaking, lower levels of debt are better in the eyes of the FICO score. So maybe part of the reason your score is low is because you're close to maxed mm-hmm. out on a couple of credit cards. Okay. I want to ask you this question, and I alluded to it at the beginning. Um, walk in, get the car, you have your FICO score, and then there are these other scores. What are the other scores and what should people know about this is my FICO score and the other scores? Because you can really get so confused over the scores. But tell us about how the FICO score is different and, you know, how institutions use that as opposed to some of the others. Well, again, the FICO score is the industry standard. So it's used in 90% of lending decisions. And it's the score that you want to -hmm. understand how your lender is going to be viewing you. And that's what we really love about this open access program is it's full transparency between the lender that you're working with, the bank that you're working with, and you as far as what score they're looking at. And so there's some third party sites out there that do sell other uh, other score models, but if they're not FICO scores, then there's no guarantee that that's a good representation of your credit worthiness and a good representation of what actions you need to take in order to get the score where you want it to be. Yeah, I just want to say to everybody, you can all go to, like I did this morning, go to FICO.com, F-I-C-O.com. And once you get there, you'll be able to see a lot of information. The other thing, too, is you can go in and Google FICO uh, uh, FICO score open access, and it will take you right to where I'm talking about, you know, outside of your institution. This is going to tell you a lot about this and what it means. Um, uh, you've been doing a lot of interviews. This is really you, you on a mission, really taking us on a journey to get more information. I, I think the question is for a lot of people, you know, don't get discouraged if you look at a score. And it's not like off the charts. And that is a a myth that we've been carrying. It used to be, oh, man, look at that score. And there's not much you can do about it. How has the digital world changed to help us know that we can monitor our score as it does change? 
Well, I think part of it you just said is the ability to monitor that score, the ability to see month in and month out that your score is improving as you're t slowly and steadily improving as you're taking, you know, these uh, steps to show responsible behavior, uh, whether it's paying down your bills or paying your bills on time so that you're, if you had any missed payments, they're getting um, further and further in your rearview mirror. But again, this is absolutely, like you said, a mission for FICO. We, we, we announced a, a global financial inclusion initiative last year aimed at increasing access to credit for some 3 billion people worldwide. And the idea is to help lenders make credit more accessible and affordable for unbanked and underbanked consumers, both in the U.S. and across the globe in countries like India. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're constantly innovating and rolling out new scores that look at data outside of just what's in your traditional credit file, such as um, whether you've paid your cable bills or your um, cell phone bills, mm -hmm. as agreed. That's something that everyone has, even if they don't have traditional credit. And by doing that, we're able to return a FICO score that lenders have faith in and trust in and they're able to underwrite people and approve them for loans that they might not get if they were looking just at their traditional file and seeing that they're cash-only users. Mm. You know, you've been doing this. You're an expert in the field. And I, I think I have a question that has to do with trends. Um, is there anything that you're seeing in, in what's trending now in the way people buy? You know, for example, it used to be you only used your credit card once in a while. Now it's like you only not use your credit card once in a while because you want to build up rewards and everything else. Is that a trend that you're seeing that people should be more mindful of and learn how to do better? Or is it not as important these days? Well, you know, taking the long view, uh, the FICO yeah. score has been around for 28 years. If we compare mm -hmm. what the typical American's credit file looks like today yeah. to 28 years ago, there's yeah. no question there's a lot more credit accounts on people's files. So there, there, maybe once upon a time you had one, maybe two pieces of plastic in your wallet. But nowadays, everyone's got their different rewards cards um, for different situations. Maybe this one is where they use for spending and, and when they buy gas, and this one is what they use in retail establishments and so forth. And so we're absolutely seeing a trend towards more activity with a greater number of credit cards. But the same fundamentals that applied 28 years ago still apply, which again is we're looking at how responsibly you're managing that debt relative to how much available credit you have. So we want to see that your balances are relatively low um, and manageable and that you're successfully making all of your payments on time as agreed. Those are the two biggest drivers of the FICO score. Mm. Um, you know, this is really kind of an interesting uh, question and things to look at for parents. You know, they're thinking, when do I give my child a credit card? I mean, clearly, you know, along the way, kids go to college, do kids go to school. But nowadays, this idea of using credit is a, a part of our everyday life. Um, you know, what are sort of the do's and don'ts, if you had any, on your list uh, that you'd like to share with people around this. And I know this is a short interview, so I, I'd really like to hear your expertise. Sure. Well, I, I think um, it, it's not necessarily widely known that adding um, a, a child as an authorized user on your own credit accounts uh, is one way to build up their credit file as well. So if you add someone as an authorized user on your credit accounts, that information will start to show up in the authorized user's credit file as well. So we have seen um, parents leverage that approach to helping their children build a credit file without maybe the child having to get their own credit account uh, outside of the purview of the parents, right? If you're an authorized user, the parents can still keep a close eye on the spending patterns and make sure that everything is, is being reasonably and responsibly managed. Um, um, another opportunity, I think, for, for students would be um, a secured credit card. So generally speaking, uh, as we talked about earlier, it's tough to get that first credit account um, if you don't already have a FICO score. Uh, so one opportunity that generally has less stringent criteria for approval is a secured card where you pay some small down payment, say $250, and then you'll get a credit card with a limit somewhere in the $250 range as long as that account's being reported to the credit file, as long as you're responsibly managing that account and paying it on time every month, that can be a very effective way to build your FICO score. 
Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, Ethan, thank you for today. Thank you for taking the time to do the show today. Again, how can how can people find out more about this? Where can they go? And then one last question. What's your personal message? What would you like to leave us with today? Sure. Well, consumers can go to www.fico.com and search on the term FICO score, open access to learn more. And the message I would leave everyone with is it's really a journey, a credit journey. If you uh, have a lower FICO score, then you'd ideally like just know that there are numerous opportunities um, to uh, alter your behaviors. You can learn what those behaviors are, for example, through accessing your score on FICO open access. And we see that consumers who can get back um, on on the horse, so to speak, mm-hmm. and, and make payments as agreed, put those uh, missed payments in their rearview mirror, can see their score improve and probably much faster than it, and, than they might expect. It's, a black mark isn't forever on your credit yeah. report. You can absolutely see your score recover back to levels where you'll be considered a good credit risk again. Yeah, and believe me, those of us that have gone down this pathway, especially of uh, getting sick and then healing, we know what the journey is. And it's exactly like Ethan says, don't give up hope. Things do change. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you for today. We're going to take a short break, everyone. We'll be right back. Learn how to be you in today's world on New Soul Radio. Follow host Ruby Betty each month on Transformation Talk Radio as she introduces new rules for new souls in these new times. As a powerful spiritual thought leader, modern mystic, and clairsentient, Ruby Betty is propelled toward a single goal, to awaken human beings to their fullest potential. For more information on Ruby and her work, visit rubybetty.co. Healing has a ripple effect. One person's healing affects everyone around them. This is where the power of sharing our stories can be so important. Tune in to Playing on the Edge Radio with Megan Edge each month on Transformation Talk Radio as Megan provides you with ways of sustaining radical and powerful changes in your life. Enact the power of radical change. To find out more about Megan Edge, visit her website at meganedge.ca. Awareness is universal. Establishing a living awareness through meditation brings peaceful, healthy, and creative well-being into your everyday life. The practice of living awareness, Spirit Fire's own meditation practice, is built on this belief and is designed for every level of practitioner. Each year, Spirit Fire hosts living awareness meditation retreats that allow you to explore the practice in depth at our retreat center in beautiful western Massachusetts. Introduce yourself to meditation and the practice at the Foundations Retreat. Attend, in silence, a silent meditation retreat focused on mindfulness, presence, and nature. Or be engaged with the meditation sittings themselves at the Deepening Retreat. Start adding to your awareness and attend a meditation retreat designed to cultivate consciousness in your everyday life. For details on attending a Living Awareness Meditation Retreat, visit upcoming events at www.spiritfire.com. Your happiness is your choice on Natural Peace Radio. Follow Sarah Van Ryswick as she addresses the power of emotions. Each month, Sarah covers different topics as she helps listeners activate their energetic spark and create powerful energy and amazing opportunities. Manifest your desires with Natural Peace Radio. For more information on Sarah and her work, visit naturalpeaceliving.com. The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens with Colette Marie Steffen is excited to welcome Karen Benton as a monthly guest host. Tune in on the third Wednesday of each month at 8 a.m. Pacific time to regain confidence and trust in your capacity to create change in your life, your health, your family, and your well-being. Karen Benton is a mother, nurse practitioner, certified body talk practitioner, Franklin Method instructor, and owner of Limitless Living LLC. For more information about Karen, visit karenbenton.com. Hey, everyone.
everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, thank you all for tuning us in and turning us on. My gosh, you know, uh, we're going to kick it up old school a little bit here. Two things are going to happen, but first I'm going to say hi to Eric. Hey, Eric, it's so great. Thank you for stepping in. Hey, good morning. My pleasure. Great yeah. to talk to you again. I know. We're going to talk about some cool stuff. Well, first of all, we're going to talk about and just acknowledge um, you know, the 70 year anniversary of Israel. Uh, and, you know, that is, it's important for many people to really look at, you know, what happens when an individual, a country reaches a, a very important mark in their lives. You know, some people say, Eric, that, you know, each of us has our own 70 year, but the number 70 has always been important. But the thing that I love about this, it's also an 11 year. Whoa. So what does that mean for all of you out there? You're thinking, what the heck is she going to talk about now? Okay, I'll tell you why I'm a little bit excited about this for today. First of all, a new year, this year, a master year, abundance and glory. Now, many of you sent us a whole bunch of emails talking about the show we did previously on what this year is about and uh, what's happening with Saturn, what's happening with Scorpio. But the thing to keep in mind that I think trumps all of this dialogue about retrograde, and I don't mean the president, about retrograde. <laughs> if, I, I, I don't mean about the president. Although I'll tell you, he's, he's just like fired another one, like you're fired, right? That's right, yep. Oh boy, it's like, honest to goodness. Um, but why is this even this kind of year for the president too? Uh, and we're starting to see it. But the notion of this year being a celebratory year for Israel, as well as for an 11 year, really talks to what many, many people have been prophesizing. And so let's just stop for a moment and, and just say this. Get ready. This is entering your full embodiment the life beyond your wildest dreams. Now, I'm not surprised that we're entering this year and it's also a 70th for uh, Israel. And we're also looking at changes that are going on. The question really is in the old crust busting vernacular, do you really believe it? Do you really believe? Do you believe this is gonna be your year of abundance and glory? And I'm telling you right now, we are opening up the phone lines for you so that we can help you believe. 1-800-930-2819. We're going to make sure we're pulling an affirmation angel card for you. And I'm going to give you a personal mantra affirmation to take with you on your way. Because if you have any whatsoever doubt, if you're thinking, I am just not part of the sacred, holy, and majestic, if I'm not part of that, then you won't be part of it. And I'm telling you that this 11 year, 11's my number, this 11 year is a year where we get to literally bust out of everything. And, you know, part of the things, Eric, we do in crust busting, there's part of the seven step process where we excavate, we dig deep. And so somebody said to me, why do we have to dig so deep? Well, Sometimes we think about how do we find the deepest, the most beautiful gemstones in our earth? What is it about these gemstones that have taken eons of pressure, 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 unless you're Superman to carve a diamond, pressure to create something so beautiful? But it isn't beautiful if we don't know it exists, number one, and it's buried deep in the earth and we don't know it's there, except now science tells us it's there. What if I were to tell you that moving forward from this day on, the abundance knows the abundance, the love knows the love, the mirror knows itself, but this is where we get to activate this, and we get to activate it on a very interesting day. 
So for those of you out there, then you're thinking about yourself and you're thinking, oh my goodness, this year, what's going on with it? Why is this happening? Why is that happening? 1-800-930-2819. 1-800-930-2819. Say hi to Eric too. Here's what I want to say. What's going to be going on on March 20th? What's going to be going on on March 20th, right around the corner? So much is going to go on, but look at what's happening. Fifth dimension, the age of Aquarius, dimensional consciousness, alchemy uh, transfiguration or transmutation, awakening, conscious creation, the I am presence, living in your heart, love, present moment awareness, pure being, and boom, an amazing spring equinox. But today, right now, we're tapping in to this amazing understand. Okay, so here, here. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a, Eric a little bit of a, a little bit of a Jewish tradition. Now, <clears throat> Daniel 9. What is Daniel 9 about? Now, why is it that we talk about Daniel? We talk about the Bible, we talk about Buddha, we talk what what is it that we're doing? So there's a really interesting show a ministry that a friend of mine pointed me to. Um, and they're called uh, Larry and Tiz Huck, uh, the Huck Ministries. And so the first time I looked at these folks, I was confused. I was confused. I got there and I looked and I went to their website and I thought, well, okay, I, what, what kind of ministry is this? There's Israel, there's the Star of David, but wait a minute, they're talking about Jesus, they're talking about spirituality. And so what I love about listening to these two, Larry and Tiz, is that not only are they talking about the prophecies, are they talking about bringing people together, what's happening with them, Eric, unbelievable, they've created a necklace, believe it or not, Mm -hmm. Star of David and the cross. So why um, covering are covering all the bases? Oh my goodness! <laughs> it, and, and we're thinking. If you're sitting and you're thinking like me, what is it about uh, spirituality and and people bringing things together? You know, many of you email me about Joel Osteen. Uh, you know, I've interviewed him. You know that uh, I've also interviewed you know spiritual leaders from all religions. But here's the thing that I want to share, and we're going to take a short break and come back. Whatever you think this year is, this is your year to shine. This is the year where positivity rules in your life and all of your heart's desire, kick it out big time. The question really is, and we're going to talk about this when we come back, what can we learn from 70 years of miracles that Israel has shown us? What can we learn from that? And what can we learn also from, if you want to go and talk about the biblical case for Israel, what can we learn about why all of this together in this 11 year is about you? It is you, you. Let's take a short break, everyone. We'll be right back. said to yourself, I need to let this go. While the phrase sounds effective, what does it actually mean? How do you let something go? Hi, I'm Eve from Elite Tarot, host of the weekly show Mainstream Metaphysics Radio. As an intuitive coach and professional tarot card reader, I work with clients worldwide on using energy effectively to embrace joy. Here's an idea when letting something go. Find a time you won't be disturbed, and just between you and the universe, handwrite a letter sharing all your feelings of anger, hurt, and sadness. At the end, write, however, I choose to live my life with love, joy, and strength, and so for all that, I release you. After you sign your name, immediately shred the letter noting how your body physically feels as you release something that you've been carrying for oh so long. 
If you'd like to schedule a session, please visit my site at EliteTarot.com. That's E-L-I-T-E-T-A-R-O-T.com. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Are you ready to tap into the healer within? Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. Did you know the real doctor is the source that lives within you, that heals within you minute by minute every day? The healer within is the innate intelligence of the human body. When we cut our hand with a piece of glass, we don't have to command the body to close the wound and grow new skin. It knows how to heal itself. We do have to nourish the skin by disinfecting it and remove the glass or it cannot heal. The innate healer relies upon us to assist in this healing process. Our role is to identify its needs, provide the substances required for the healing, and remove the obstacle. Contact us to achieve optimal health at 888-777-4232. That's 888-777-4232. And visit us at maryjanemack.com. The knowledge book currently studied in 39 countries and 15 languages around the world accelerates our evolution, takes us out of depression, offers new universal truth protects us and makes us stronger both spiritually and physically so if you are interested in the knowledge book visit usa.thenowledgebook.net and tune in to the knowledge book radio with marge potassic on transformationtalkradio.com let it go radio the future awaits you Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as host Barbara Scheidegger explores the way to clarity, peace, and how to live a successful life on your terms by turning negative experiences into positive ones. Barbara's curiosity about the human experience drives her both personally and professionally. As a life coach, author, and renowned clinical hypnotherapist, Barbara knows how to move forward in a natural, organic way without side effects. If you want to grow, be sure to tune in to Let It Go Radio. To learn more, visit LetItGoHypnosis.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. You know, it's so great to be connecting with all of you. And, you know, at the top of the hour here at the 11 o'clock hour, you know, uh, Megan Edge and I are going to be doing an incredible Facebook live show. And, you know, part of this is really being able to look at our lives and ask ourselves the question, you know, what are we willing to do outrageously now? You know, what is it about ourselves, about our lives that we are wanting to call forward? And so when we think about that and we think about the courage to be vulnerable, you know, that is what the show uh, at the 11 o'clock is going to be about. But let me tell you this. When I think about this year, the 2018 year, what it means, you know, sometimes being vulnerable means that you ask for help and you ask for help sometimes you know, in the strangest moments of your life, or you might ask for help when you're thinking to yourself, I don't know what to do. I don't know what's going on. I certainly don't know for myself, why is it that my life isn't going the way I want? The other part of being vulnerable, I think, is making sure that for many of us, we're very clear that Humility becomes the, the counterpoint for pretty much anything negative that you have out there. But what is it about this year, you know, and how to, how to really tap in, you know, to abundance in this year? So let me, just, let me just talk about one thing. We know, we know that there are certain energies, that there are certain life forces um, we know that there are things that we can say about ourselves, about it being an 11 year. And what does that mean? So let's talk about it. First and foremost, this year, 
is a master year. It's master 11 or 11 over two. It's a universal year. Some people say what this is, is an overall theme and the theme is love. But what should we know about these? You know, what should we know about this particular year and coincidentally how we're engaging this particular year um, with the 70th anniversary of Israel? Already this year, there have been some things that have happened and have happened in support of Israel as a country. Now, many of you may or may not agree with what has happened or you know, the fact that we have decided to do something different with the embassy there. But the point is, and I want to just say this, it happened. And so this is the year of miracles. Let's use a couple of examples that are more known or out in the forefront. A month ago, we would have never contemplated the United States and North Korea having anything to say to each other. Anything, like nada, nothing, nothing to say to each other. But what's happening now? All right, let's talk about the stock market. Now, what if all of these things that were happening weren't about politics, weren't about who's in the White House, weren't about, you know, uh, it, what, if, what if this wasn't about anything that we can point a finger to and say, yep, that's the reason. What if it was, what if it was about this master year? What if it was about the number 70 and what that represents? What if it was about the life that you have said yes to and from a biblical point of view or from a spiritual point of view or from a life daily point of view or from any, any spiritual practice whatsoever, or let's just not even call it that. Let's call it consciousness practice. The number 70 and the number 11 in the same year were to tap on an accelerated rate of you accomplishing what you want to accomplish this year and your desires miraculously being met. What if that were something that you could hold on to as a possibility? So if you take this, if you take these two separately, right? If you take the number seven and you take the fact that this is an 11 year and you take them separately, then maybe you'll be able to come up with some kind of rationalization, some kind of idea, something to explain things that are going on. But what if we stopped trying to explain it and leaned into the energy and the color of abundance? Here's the deal. That's the invitation. That's what I want to say. That's what I want to talk with you about. Let us set our intentions for this year manifesting prosperity and abundance. Now, why? I, I want to get very specific about this. Let's talk about manifesting money. Now, People say, what, what do you mean money? That's, let's, just, let's just stay with, pro no, I, I really want to talk about money and let's talk about why I want to talk about money. Money is a form of exchange. It's a form of energetic exchange. You know, we have these things that we call money. You know, other, uh, in the United States, it's a dollar. In other countries, it's other forms of money. The point is, it is an exchange vehicle. That means that for me, if I want to get something, if I want to purchase something, if I want to go to school, oh, I paid a lot of money to go to school. But if I wanted to go to school, then I would have to say, hey, here's my check. Here's my payment. Here's my student loan. Here's whatever it is. Here's my credit card. Actually, I had to use my credit card to go to school because I never expected to get accepted into doctoral program. And then when I got accepted, I had no money. So I pulled out a credit card. Um, actually writing an article about college by credit card. So here we are. But what if you leaned into this every minute of every day? So I'm not really talking about at the end of the day, you're grateful for the day. Of course, you got to do that. 
what if you were grateful in the energy and the spirit of money manifestation every minute of every day? Now, okay, I'm not talking about like, let's get all greedy. Here's what I'm talking about. We have five projects this year that I never thought in a million years that I would be able to do. I mean, Eric, let me just tell you a little bit. One of them is, and you know, you've known me since I've been on the network, right? Like 15 years or yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. Along the way, what we discovered is a little disease called chronic Lyme disease. And what we know about that is that it is one of the fastest growing epidemic in our country and the least, least bit of information on how to prevent it and what to do. So we, we designed a video game slash video app with actual characters to represent how to holistically treat this. And then, of course, we have um, the ticks, the culprits. And so now we're in the process of launching a crowdfunding initiative. We're creating a video to demonstrate what we want to do. And we're going to take it to the world over at Kickstarter. And we're going to say, hey, look, this is our deal. If you donate money, we're going to either give you a lifetime membership or whatever that is. That's what we're doing. And we, when you think about it, people say, well, wait a minute, aren't you in the radio business? I don't think we've ever really been in the radio business. We're in the living life full out business. But this is the year where those dreams, Eric, come alive, right? This is the year where we can do that. And so think about it, right? What kinds of things do each of us have on our plate? I'm sure, Eric, you've got some things you want to do. This is the year to, boom, magically get them done. Awesome. I know. <laughs> I know. You know, when we first started 15 years ago, there was really barely the Internet. So talking about doing a video game so that people can put on their phone or an intelligent video app right. uh, that actually can look at these. And, and we were going to use uh, the game name Exploding Ticks, but that is in direct conflict with the Exploding Kittens people who have graciously said, go ahead and use it. It's for a great cause. <laughs> so we're still trying to figure that out. I mean, honestly, I, I, I don't get the kitten thing, but the point is that people are collaborating this year in ways they've never done before. Uh, what's your sense of it, Eric? What, what do you make of this new thread of co collaboration? Uh, I think it's awesome. Yeah. If, if we can come together instead of, you know, the nation seems so split apart, but if we can come together as individ individuals, that's, you know, one step closer to uniting the country and maybe the world. I love it. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, I'm going to be talking about the abundance of rain in 2018. If you live in Seattle like we do, we know about rain. But what about the abundance of rain? This is your year for Jubilee. This is your year for celebration. This is your year for rejoicing. We'll be right back. I'm going to tell you how you can bring this in right now. I'm going to give you a simple mantra and we're going to kick it up old school. We'll be right back. Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Amber Teal, founder of The Healthy Edge, is bringing you the hit show Healthy Edge Radio, living with power, passion, and purpose. Amber provides the support and tools necessary for you to finally release the weight and emotions that are hidden beneath the weight. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information on how you can take the next step with Amber, visit GetTheHealthyEdge.com. Be you. 
plus live your purpose equals joy. That's the motto of Unstuck Joy with Vicki Todd. Vicki believes you were born with gifts that are meant to make the world brighter. Each show will feature an art visioning journal prompt to help you create your way to soul clarity. If you're ready to get unstuck and create more joy, this show is for you. Tune in the first and third Tuesday at 3 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit VickiWorldArt.com. Tune in to the hit show, Raging Skillet Radio, mouthing off with Chef Rossi. Chef Rossi mouths off about different subjects in pursuit of breaking down walls and opening up your minds. She and Dr. Pat banter back and forth, taking from the headlines of the day on subjects that reach beyond what goes on in the world into your hearts. And go to theragingskillet.com to find out more and let Chef Rossi know what's on your mind. Tune in to E3 Influence Radio. Own your impact. Master your world. In this new hit show, Sarah Luce, empowerment coach and spiritual mentor, teaches us how to achieve our greatest potential to positively affect everything and everyone. The time is now to enlighten our minds, empower our hearts, and take energized action to raise the consciousness of our planet. Sarah shows us how with simple, easy-to-implement steps. To find out more about Sarah Luce and her E3 Influence program, visit sarahluce.com. Stay juicy. Tune in to Your Juicy Love with me, Una Drake, co-hosting monthly with Dr. Pat and every second Monday at 12 p.m. on Transformation Talk Radio. My show, Your Juicy Love, helps you find the dynamic, life-affirming love you've always wanted. Transform your relationships and bring peace, joy, and juicy, juicy love to planet Earth. For more information, visit unadrake.com. Oh, that's cool. Eric, what is that? That's a cool song. Jane Weaver, I Need a Connection. We were talking about connecting and collaborating. Yeah, so Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so here, here's what I love about this is that I get to talk to all of you, but I wanted to share this. I wanted to share about why this year is so important so you can think about it and open up your heart to it. Um, We now know that many, many things we do in life, if not every one of them, has to do with our energy and our vibration. And even the Center for Brain Health is talking about 2018 as the year of abundance. I mean, like what? Like why? Well, because they get it. And this is a year where I want you to seriously open up to your desires. Desire is one of the most expansive words you can have. And it's been used, maybe not in a direct translation, but it's been used time and time again to represent how we bring things into our lives. You know, how we look at things into our lives. And so this is the year for miracles, and we're seeing those miracles already. The question really is, are you ready in the most readiest of ways to bring the life to your dreams and then watch it manifest with the actions you take? So here's my, here's my thought. I was thinking about this for myself, and I was talking to... Sarah Main, uh, who is one of our co-hosts, she's got a great show coming up, and she works with the fear shadow, but she works with conscious confidence. And so I was talking with her, and we were talking about fear. And what she does in conscious confidence, and please go to consciousconfidence.com and check it out. She looks at not just fear as a thing, but fear casts a shadow, And if we're not aware of it, we can live in the shadow of fear. I lived in it and out of a result of that, the heaviness that I felt, I created crust busting, you know, in 2001. Many of you know what crust busting is and many of you may not. But the thing that I know about this is if I am in the shadow of fear, 
that's so running my life, I am going to be in the shadow of limitation, in the shadow of of literally not ever believing in miracles. And so I want to invite all of you today to take the initiation, to take the initiation of your divine heritage, to take the initiation of your divine right, to take the initiation of abundance and glory for this year, 2018, and stand in your majestic presence. Here's the thought for you. Anyone or anything that you scorn in your heart, let them go. Anyone or anything you believe is about to bring you harm, let them go. Any idea of yourself that is not pure and majestic, let it go. Now, it's a stretch sometimes to look in a mirror and say, I love myself. I'm telling you, it's hard. It's hard to do. It's hard for me to do. You know, when I was totally, totally sick, mystery disease, 100 pounds heavier, looked in the mirror, there's no way. There's no way I could get myself to say, I love myself. I had to work on it. I had to be there. I had to do all of the above. What I want to, you know, so, so much and desire so much for all of you is to look at the initiation for you to have everything you desire in life. And I mean everything. You know, this is a benevolent universe. So long as your everything is a benevolent everything, that's going to be matched and aligned vibrationally. That's it. The question I want to ask you, are you ready for it? Are you ready for the yes of your life? Are you ready for that thing which moves beyond anything that holds you back? that transcends the crust that's on your heart. And if you're ready, if you're ready, if you're ready for it, then what I want to make sure that we all do and do together is understand and accelerate what we desire in our lives. Are you ready to do that for me? Are you ready to do it for you? Are you ready to have everything that you desire, to have it now, to have it forever, to have it for others? Are you ready to bring those things into your life that are so precious to you and precious to others that all you can do is share, accelerate, expand, and grow? Are you ready for it? Here's what I want to leave you with. This is a mantra that I, I, I have to read it every day uh, and I want to share it with you. So if you're ready to do this and you're ready to say it with me, join me with this. Today I enter into the limitless variations of self-expression which the divine spirit projects into my experience of life. Knowing that all experience is a play of life upon itself the blossoming of love unto itself and self-expression, the coming forth of good into the joy of its own being. I enter into the game of living with joyful anticipation, with enthusiasm. I play the game of life well, and I enjoy it. Today, I enter into my divine inheritance, shaking my thought clear from the belief that external conditions are imposed upon me. I declare the freedom of my divine sponsor, divine sponsorship. I possess the kingdom, the kingdom of all in its fullness. I look long, sincerely, and simply upon every object, every person. I wait at the doorway of my expectation until my acceptance grants me the privilege of beholding this beauty, this expression forevermore. So if you all are ready, if you are ready, here's your mantra. Today is my day. Today is my day. I let it live and I let it live through me. The key that unlocks the treasures of the kingdom of good is in your hand. You unlock the doorway of your consciousness and gently open it that the divine presence flows through you, the whole being illuminating your being, 
radiant glow and directs your footsteps into the pathway of peace, of joy, and abundance. And I want to end with this. If you believe this, say, I believe it. If you want to strengthen your conviction, strengthen it, and then fasten your seatbelt. Let's take a short break. When we come back, oh boy, get ready, get vulnerable with Megan Edge. We'll be right back. <laughs> 